guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Walker Ford, sunny Clearwater, Florida, and we're gonna do a little bit of a performance SUV comparison. What I wanna do is I wanna show you what is Ford bringing to the table when it comes to now their performance SUVs and with them adding that coveted ST badge, which stands for sports technology. Let's talk a little bit about Ford history. So Ford been around so, so many years with going from the Model T to what we have now behind me. What's interesting is that it's the end of the road for all of their passenger cars except for the Mustang. Now the ST badge appeared on the Fiesta ST and the Focus ST. Those two models were part of what's known as the performance brand within Ford known as Ford Performance. In the past it was known as SVT, Special Vehicle Teams. Ford Performance is a sub-brand to promise you extra power, extra handling, extra braking from your Ford product. And for the first time, we now have the all new for 2020 Ford Explorer ST, and of course, the Edge ST. What's fascinating is both of these have turbocharged power, extra horsepower, plus all-wheel drive, very sophisticated all-wheel drive, along with a bunch of other handling and braking goodies. One thing that's totally for sure is that no matter which way you go with these two, you're gonna get extra performance that you expect from the Ford brand. So let's go ahead and dive into these two Ford Performance vehicles, the new Explorer ST and the Edge ST, and see how different they are just from a vehicle perspective. So let's start with the Explorer ST. All new for 2020, I love the design that they did with the headlights, with the grill. I'm zonking the Explorer badge. I don't like the way it's tacked on, but what I do like, functional side air curtains, some lower exterior illumination, and I like on the ST brand, you get the gloss black along the bottom here. It would be nice if it came out just a little bit further. And the ST badge back here in the corner, sports technology, gloss black with the grill, and then up on the hood, really like the powerful lines that they have built into the hood. And this is the same hood that you would get on any Explorer. Now, the Edge is the smaller SUV. Edge, Explorer, Expedition, that's the lineage, that's the line. You can see full LED lighting, just like in the Explorer uh, ST over there, full LED lighting. You got the daytime running lamps. You also have functional side air curtains, gloss black, this has a little bit of chrome trim, which I don't understand this piece down here. It doesn't match with the overall performance uh, look of this. So I am gonna zonk that, but you do have your lower fog lamps, some flat black on the extension there, and you can see the Edge ST's grill. Same overall design as the Explorer, that hexagonal design, gloss black. The ST badge, I wish the ST badge was just a little bit larger. That grill is large, and the ST is about the size of a dime. So that to me is a zonk. You have the gloss black down low, same story. I wish there was a little bit of a lower lip extension just to give it a little bit more sportiness to it. But when we go up onto the hood, very bold, powerful lines. High peaks on each corner, and then you have a recessed body line here that kind of lowers the center of the hood to give it a nice overall look. But that's the front end of the business. Let's go ahead and check out the sides and the backs of these two Ford Performance SUVs. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a lap down the side and the back of the new Explorer ST. As we come around the bend, you do get a bit of flat black. I don't mind it too much. Uh, it actually gives it a nice overall look. As we drop down, this one has the optional big brake package. So you're gonna get this 21 inch wheel. Love the design of the wheel, gloss black. And you can see the massive calipers painted red, you're basically getting the same exact setup that the Police Interceptor Explorers get. So you're getting a larger rotor, larger caliper, and then you're gonna get totally different springs, different shock absorbers, and thicker anti-roll bars. That's gonna allow this real-wheel drive chassis to handle like none other. But remember, this one is all-wheel drive, and it's a very unique performance-oriented all-wheel drive system. But definitely, you gotta go all the way with the 21 inch wheels and the big, uh, big brake option. Now, going down the side, I like the dimensions of the new Explorer. I like the gloss black on the A-pillar. You can see how the roof 
kind of has a nice flat look to it and slopes back. Gloss black on the roof rails makes this very usable. You get the crossbars. You see the continuation of the flat black and the gloss. And you could also notice how they do the little touches by putting the Explorer badge stamped into that lower piece. Little bit of gloss black on the door handles. Follow the belt line. Very, very nice rounded belt line as we come into the quarter window. So smart the way they took the gloss black, almost make it look like one piece of glass. As we get to the rear, you're going to get a very low roof spoiler that kind of has two higher peaks on the side. We drop down, nice large ST badge, sports technology badge. We drop down even a little further. I'm still going to zonk it. I don't care what anybody says. These are not exhaust openings. They come out the bottom. Supposedly, ga gases get in through the rear hatch. Can't they develop some type of material so that exhaust gas doesn't get into the rear hatch? These should be functional. They do look good, though. I'll give them that. We come across the lower bumper area. You can see you have full tow capability, all your hookups, and then a very clean overall look with the Explorer badge stamped into the back tailgate. But why don't we go ahead, let's take a lap around the Ford Edge ST. All right, guys, time to take a lap around the Edge ST. Now, this one also has that Brig big brake package. So you're going to get the larger wheel. This is a 21 inch wheel, gloss black. You can see the larger calipers, larger rotor in the same story. This one has all wheel drive. Edges are not rear wheel drive setup. They're front wheel drive setup. So this one has a specific all wheel drive system to the ST, different shock absorbers and thicker anti-roll bars. I like the clean fender look with no flat black and definitely the wheel and brake package looks great on this particular one. Now, as we go down the side, you have the color match caps, some flat black here. You can see the, how much lower the vehicle is compared to the Explorer ST. I do like the flat black sill extension, gives it a nice extra sporty look, and you have that same nice rounded belt line that goes down the whole side of the vehicle. Nice sharp rear quarter glass, low roof spoiler, we're coming to the rear, and I like what they did by blacking out this top portion, integrating the LED taillights. You got your edge badge, you got your ST badge, and then guess what? Those are decorative tips, but they are functional. So the exhaust isn't coming out the bottom. You got a tasteful rear diffuser area here, and of course, tow capability as well. Why don't we pop the hoods of these two Ford Performance vehicles and see what's powering them? All right, guys, we got the hoods popped of these two Ford Performance SUVs, and definitely we have some performance Let's start with the 2020 Explorer ST. So underneath that hood, first of all, you get this massive, massive strut tower brace. Underneath that is a three liter EcoBoost V6, 400 horsepower, 415 pound feet of torque. It's all made it through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It is direct injection, and you are getting 35 more horsepower than the previous Explorer Sport. It weighs around 4,853 pounds, zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds, quarter mile in 13.8, and a top speed of 146. MPGs 18 in the city and 24 on the highway. We switch gears over to the Ford Edge ST. Now, one thing that's surprising, there is no strut tower brace, and they have a very large engine cover that is tasteful. It's got the Ford Performance brand logo on it. You're looking at underneath that cover, a 2.7 liter V6, twin turbocharged, 335 horsepower, 380 pound-feet of torque. It's all made it through an eight-speed automatic transmission. This weighs about 300 pounds less, 4,597 pounds. You're gonna get 19 in the city, 26 on the highway, zero to 60, 5.7 seconds, quarter mile and 14.3 at 98 miles an hour. This is what Ford is bringing to the table, and it's nice to see that you can get these options I'm gonna zonk it though. On the Explorer ST, which is definitely more money, you have a prop rod, but yet you have hood struts on the smaller hood. That doesn't make any sense to me. We're not gonna fire them up because I promise you, and that's another big zonk, they don't make much sound. So let's go ahead, dive into the interior and see what they have to offer. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Ford Explorer ST. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, I want a big performance SUV. How much is this? You're looking at the way it's optioned, right around $58,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels. If you look, there's a lot of dark material, but I like the leather on the armrest, on the back portion of the door, the stitch work, and this has the optional B&O sound system with the aluminum covers. 
I wish they would have put an aluminum cover down below on the lower speaker. That's a zonk to me, but you do have a large pocket for Reese's peanut butter cups, king size Snickers, and everything else you could want on your high performance drive. Dash, soft material. You have this textured plastic here. This is where the zonk comes. Look at the gap right there. Who was putting these two pieces of plastic together or designing that? This has that 12 inch infotainment system vertical screen. It looks like it's tacked on. So that is a zonk. And then you can see just how small um, the navigation is and stuff when you have other things up. Obviously you could go into different features. There's your full navigation uh, and whatnot. Your start stop button is nicely placed. I do like the shape of the AC vents. You come down, you have your radio controls, AC controls, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel and dual climate. Nice silver, I am digging here. You open that guy up, you have a large storage area for your circus peanuts, uh, Cracker Jacks, whatever you want. You could store your Cracker Jack prizes in there. You have a 12 volt, a USB and a USB-C. Close that up, two cup holders, a place to stack your mini Slim Jims. This is gonna control that 10 speed automatic. You do have drive modes, which I'll show you more of that on the business end. Armrest is a nice soft leather. The stitch work is great. Wireless charging located right here. Open this up. We got a party tray for peanuts. And then you got plenty of room inside. You could probably stack up about 20 uh, Twinkies if you stack them vertically. And you have another 12 volt in there, which is a great touch. Seats, I love them. ST uh, branding, the stitch work. Materials nice and soft. Of course, it's electric assist on both the passenger and the driver. But why don't you come on over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Explorer ST. All right, guys, business end. Like I said, we're going to keep this a little bit quicker. You got your Ford Performance branding down here. Electric assist on the seats. The steering wheel I love. Steering wheel has a nice thickness. The stitch work is great. You have the ST logo, the silver trim, flat black on the buttons. And then look at that. 12 inch display. So let me correct myself. That's a 10 inch screen, vertical screen for the infotainment. This is the 12 inch TFT display. You have your different modes. And what's wonderful when you go into your different modes, the dash actually changes. Watch this. You go into eco mode, you want to hug a tree. You don't need to hug a tree. Just go into eco mode and there you are. You're going to hug the environment being in eco mode. I'm all about sport. I want to stay in sport mode and it shows you great graphics. You got the checkered flag, everything else. Two paddles, very, very small. So we're zonking the paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that 10 speed. This should have the same magnesium paddles out of the Raptor. And then also at this price point, no panoramic sunroof. That is an additional option. Let's check out the mid-row though and see how much space you have in this Explorer ST. All right, guys, mid-row time. Lots of room in the 2020 Explorer. That front seat was uh, comfortable and supportive without too much bolstering. You do have three zone AC, of course. Um, you'll have plastic on the back portion here, which I am going to zonk, but you do have the leather pockets for your abacus or your uh, fingernail file or whatnot. Rear AC, USB, USB-C, and a home power source, and then you can get your pretzels down there, easily placed. Two drink holders in the center, and then what's awesome is, is you can go to Costco and get that like 12 foot tall bag of ruffles and put it right there, and your kids will eat the whole time and just shut up, which would be nice. Armrest, pretty good thickness. I do like the stitch work. Seats have that same wonderful material. I'm not gonna sit in the third row. If you wanna see that, there are other 2020 Explorer videos on the channel, which I'll leave a link to one of them, but let me show you how easy it is to show off. There's the third row. Those headrests obviously go up. My big zonk back there, like before, there's no USB. And a $57,000, excuse me, $58,000 vehicle there should be a USB. Why don't we check out the cargo area though and see what you could put down back there for your track day. All right guys, time to check out the cargo area. What we're gonna do is we just look for the button which is right here on the corner. You press it, up she goes. We do have the seats up. You can see we got a nice cargo net here which is easy to take down if you don't wanna see it. There's the cargo net. You can lift this up. You got plenty of room here. You can actually take this panel with you. So you could go snowboarding with that panel or you could put it back, which is really nice. You could even, if you need to, look at this. Huh? Huh? There you go. You don't have to worry about the carpet getting all ripped up and stuff. Let me take this part down so everybody's happy. On this side, you do have a 12 volt, which is great. And then you're going to have the seat controls to put the rear seats back and flat. Look at that. One touch, 
They go down very nicely. Think about it. You want to do a track day, bring your GT350, bring this. You can bring jack stands, a pop-up, coolers, the whole nine yards. Speaking of driving it, let's go check out that edge and then we're going to drive both. So let's go see the ST over there. All right, guys, we're inside the Edge ST with the big, big brake option. I know you're probably wondering, well, if that costs $58,000, how much is this one? This one MSRP is at $52,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, to the door panel, same story. A lot of dark black, but I love the leather. I love that stitch work going on the back portion. This one does have the optional B&O sound system as well. With the silver trim, I am gonna zonk that it does not have aluminum speaker covers, but it does have a nice pocket down there for a drink and your snacks. Now, when you get to the dash, solid material, you got this faux carbon fiber that looks tasteful. This is an ST. You have your eight inch infotainment system. It's that sync system. Both of these cars have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Look at this, secret storage for that emergency Twinkie. You can leave it in there. They last about a million years. When you're hungry, you're good to go. I don't like this flat black. I'm zonking the flat black, but I do like the size of the screen. Navigation is easy to get once it comes up. One of these days, there's the navigation. Normally it isn't that slow. I think it was sleeping. Let's try it again. See, I told you it was just sleeping a little bit, but you have all your climate controls, start stop button, and then more flat black. You got your cameras out the back and all that good stuff out the front. Look at this, watch, boom, boom. I like that. This though, the flat black, I'm zonking. It feels like a rental car. Uh, AC, uh, ventilated seats, heated seats, and you got your AC controls, everything nice and slim. You open up that guy, wireless charging, two USBs, and you can put some circus peanuts in there. So they got you covered. I like this silver trim. I wish they would have used this a little bit more. There's a bit of gloss black in the center, nothing too crazy. This is what your key fob looks like in both vehicles. So you're gonna have the ST, ST brand logo. We flip it around, you got um, remote start and all that good stuff. You do have different drive modes, which I'll show you once you come over to the business end. This is gonna control that automatic transmission, eight-speed automatic. Soft material here. We got a little tray for Twizzlers. And then we open this up, up, oh, felt lining. That means you could put your high school ring in here. It's not gonna get scratched. When you're done with your ring, you can flip that up. You got a, a 12 volt, little tiny trays for breath mints. And then you could probably get about a box of little Debbie snacks in there. Maybe not Twinkies, it's not wide enough unless you squish your Twinkie, but nobody wants their Twinkie squished, I promise you that. The seats, I'm digging it. You got the ST, ST branding, Alcantara uh, suede material. This has higher bolstering, so the seats in the Explorer ST, the bolstering wasn't too bad. Higher bolstering definitely on the Edge ST, power assist for both, and this one has the full panoramic sunroof. But why don't you get on over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Edge ST. All right guys, business end, you do have three memory settings for the driver's seat, all electric assist, that Ford Performance brand logo, you got some aluminum brake and throttle, no aluminum dead pedal. That would have been a nice touch, so I am zonking that. I do like the steering wheel. It's not the same wheel as the Explorer ST. The one in the Explorer is better, uh, but I do like the Edge uh, steering wheel. You have the ST brand, the chrome, Flat black on the buttons and then the world's smallest paddles. I don't know why they do this. If this is performance branded, this should have the same paddles out of the Raptor. And I want them now, right now. Henry Ford, come get it. Anyways, dash, not as nice as what's on the Explorer. So you have that digital display on the uh, left there that you could toggle through different information and whatnot, your fuel economy, your speed, uh, those types of things. You have your speedometer and then you also have your navigation off to the other side. Visibility is great. I got plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder room, and you can see that the bolstering is a little bit higher, but still nothing like a Focus ST or a Focus RS. Let's check out that back row and see how your passengers are gonna love carving the corners with you. Hi guys, backseat time in the Edge ST. What's nice is you're getting full leather all the way around the seats, unlike the Explorer ST. I do like the material, nice pockets for an abacus or two. Rear AC vents, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's a Zonk at $52,000. They do have a cubby for breath mints for the people in the back if they're making out. You do have a 12 volt and you have a home power source, which is a nice touch. But the seats are very, very nice and comfy and they are adjustable. So you can lean back while you're taking, while your driver's taking the turns, you can just chill and just say, hey, hit that apex. Armrests, nice and soft, good size, two cup holders, flip that back sun shining because how do i know that because i have a panoramic sunroof let's check out the cargo area and see how usable the edge st is all right guys cargo area time you just hit the button 
back away, up she goes, and a nice amount of space. This one also has a cargo net that's been added, but you can see even with the rows up, still have plenty of room, which is nice, loaded up for your track day. They even give you an emergency cubby. So if you're starving to death and you ate everything that you have in the car, leave some Twinkies in here and you'll be good to go. If you wanna put those seats down, look at that. One, two, buckle your shoe, three, four, close the door and you get a 12 volt. Speaking of closing things, let's close this rear hatch because if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take these two Ford Performance SUVs for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Explorer ST. We're starting off with the big boy with 400 horsepower, that EcoBoost twin turbocharged engine, 10-speed on throttle, drops down, and we are off and running. Zero to 60, 5.1 seconds, very fast shifts. Nice, very nice. What I would like, though, and I am going to zonk it, is I'm, I, I need some, some engine sound in this cabin. There's a little bit and it is uh, simulated, but I would like some, something else going on in here just to kind of bring it to life a little bit. If anything else, just in sport mode. I have it in sport mode. I would like a little bit more sound uh, coming from the engine and whatnot, especially with 400 horsepower. But I love the commanding view that you get from behind the wheel and definitely what they've done with the 2020 uh, redesign. Uh, they really have checked off a lot of boxes of things that needed to be improved over the previous generation. The chassis is a thousand bazillion times better, if that's even like mathematically possible to have a bazillion, but that's how good it is. And what's really wonderful about it is that it's rear wheel drive bias because your standard Explorer is rear wheel drive, but when they add the all wheel drive, it just really pays huge dividends to the overall package. Love the 12 inch digital display. I forgot to mention this does have massaging seats. So as you are carving your corners, hitting your ex, your apexes, trail braking and everything else, you're also getting massaged. Now the seats don't have as aggressive bolstering as the Edge ST. So you're gonna have to support yourself a little bit more inside this Explore ST compared to the Edge ST. The Edge ST has a little bit more bolstering. Visibility is nice out the back window. Side mirrors are great. And you can hear, well, at least I could hear, how the vehicle is being held in a higher gear so that when you're ready to get on throttle, because we're in sport mode, it's ready to launch. It's ready to pounce like a Puma. A very large Puma, but a Puma nonetheless. Other acceleration tests were about at 10 miles an hour on throttle, drops down, and we are off. Not even a hint of tire spin. I love the thickness of the steering wheel. And just really smooth. Those shifts and that 10 speed are ultra smooth. The downshift is nice and deliberate. You can hear how it's holding that gear so that when you want to get back on throttle, you can. That's in sport mode. There's the other modes that are available to you. Normal, the eco mode, the tow mode. So they have you set up no matter what you want to do with this Explorer ST. All right, guys, let's see how we do. We got the big brake option, so I'm not worried about braking. Nice downshifts, turn is smooth. Here we go, round and around and around she goes, on throttle. Look at that, that comes out just a little bit and projects you like a massive rocket off of that turn. The great news is that that's a good thing. You want your vehicle, whether it's a sports car, a sports SUV, whatever to allow a little bit of slippage at the rear of the vehicle so you could square off that corner and really just rocket you i would really love to do an actual track day in this thing because i'm telling you i think it would surprise me and i know it would definitely surprise you let's try one more time into this left hand bend on throttle on the brakes good feedback from that pedal nice downshifts we turn it in look at this all day long on throttle let it drift out Hit your marks, and we are off. She feels so light on her feet. That's what I love about it. It's like she wants to dance. She's an SUV that wants to dance. Three row SUV. So you can load this up with all your friends and show them that you have the skills to carve those corners. But hopefully this gave you a nice overview. This wasn't about you know driving the car for 50 
uh, minutes and, and let you know everything about the Explore ST. I wanted to show you the performance side of it, compare it to the Edge. We're gonna go over, get back to Walker Ford and hop into that Edge. So I will see you in a split second. All right guys, we were in the Explore ST. Now we're in this smaller brother. Still has the performance though of that all wheel drive. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the throttle once I slow down a little bit just to build some space in between us and that car I pulled out on throttle. A speed drops down and you are off. Now there is sound being pumped in through uh, the speaker system and whatnot. Does it sound really like a high performance engine? No, but I guess it is nice to kind of just have a little bit of sound because there's no sound really coming out of the exhaust. You surely can feel though the all-wheel drive system that performance all-wheel drive system doing the business getting the traction down to the ground in this edge st putting it in a sport mode is real simple you just hit the s that is in the center of the dial and it makes life really easy um, because you just hit that one button and now you're in sport mode so that is the wonderful thing about this setup is there's not a ton of different modes to switch through nothing really fantastic happens to the dash though and that would be something that i would like to see change instead of having the standard edge st excuse me standard edge dash i would like to see a nice tft display as you can see uh interesting maneuvering going on not never a dull moment on rady's rides and definitely in the state of florida um but uh it would be nice to have like a 12 inch TFT display, especially at $52,000. Um, that would be a nice addition. The good news is with the flat black, you're not getting a lot of glare from that infotainment system area, uh, which is which is nice, because I was afraid that there would be a certain type of glare. Visibility is nice. It's interesting though, because the seats do squeeze you a little bit more than in the Ex Explorer ST. Um, that could be a good or a bad thing. You know, if, if you really have a nice set of twisties around where you live, hey, you may be using this more for its intended purpose more than, than anybody else. So that would come into play. To be honest with you, as a daily driver, I still think there's plenty of room uh, to feel comfortable and whatnot. Guys, pulling away from the light, the nice thing is that even in sport mode, the throttle has good feedback. It's not real grabby um, and snappy and it delivers the power progressively and that's the wonderful thing is about these EcoBoost motors whether it's the Explorer that we just got done driving or this Edge the twin turbos help cut down on turbo lag and you do get up and running very very quickly you're not waiting for a ton of boost to build in and then you're off and running but super smooth driving and great visibility um, from the vantage point behind the wheel in the Edge ST as we get onto this highway here. I'm gonna get back on the loud pedal, drops down. The shifts are very, very smooth. You can feel the deliberate drop down once you got get on throttle, but then when it shifted into the next gear, it actually uh, was a very, very smooth shift. Good feedback from the brake pedal as should be expected with the big brake package. You're gonna get the 21 inch wheel, and the bigger rotors and the bigger calipers and like i said uh, suspension wise this thing is really different than your standard edge from shock absorbers to uh, thicker anti-roll bars um, and everything else so that really uh, is going to play big dividends once we toss this into a turn but driving along here let's see how she handles hopefully we can get some open space here on throttle on the brakes, brakes feel good. Good feedback from the wheel. Turning is nice, look at this. We're in an SUV, guys. Look at this, back on throttle, all wheel drive, clamps down like Gorilla Glue, and you are off and running. So what I liked about that is that it turns very, very flat, even though we are in a crossover SUV and it got the traction down very nicely. And there wasn't a ton of front end push that sometimes can happen. You get that understeer in an all wheel drive setup. But this one, I'm telling you, it's not your run of the mill system. They really engineered it to, to get the power down to where you're not pushing all over the place. But let's try this once again on throttle, on the brakes. You can feel the brake pedal come down. 
Turning is nice, on throttle, on throttle, on throttle. Look at this. Very, very nicely done. So one thing that I noticed getting on the brakes, and that might be something that I would have to adjust maybe with the traction control or whatnot, the ABS jumped in way too early. And that's what brought us down even faster than what I originally wanted to. That would be something that would be interesting to see how adjustable that is on this Edge ST, but definitely has great braking capability. And you saw back there, the all wheel drive system kept us planted. Hopefully this gave you a nice overview of both vehicles to show you the performance capabilities and, and you can see just where Ford is going. They got rid of the cars, but they're definitely bringing the performance around for their SUVs. We're gonna wrap this one up. I'll see you back at Walker Ford in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another amazing time here at Walker Ford. Definitely got to thank Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, Benji, Mark, Austin, JC, Ivy, Greg, the whole crew here, so accommodating. What can I say? It's good news for people who are looking for a performance-oriented SUV here at Ford because you're going to have your choices of an Explorer ST, an Edge ST. I'm thinking that they're going to make an Escape ST, but I am sad, to be honest with you, and a little ticked off, that we don't have the Focus ST or the upcoming new Focus RS that they're gonna have over in Europe. But if it's performance vehicles that you like to see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. This is what we're bringing. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee, getting two big SUVs all in the same shot. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.